I don't know what the game means by it being spring. But anyway, welcome to some more Pokemon White. Uh, so, last time, we need to recover some Dreamess because a friend of the professor told us so. After we just got our first gym badge. Also, we have a second party member. Luckily, we do have a TM for the job. Meet River, who is a pan poor. Ditch Lear because Lear is fucking useless. There we go. Um, I do intend on at some point I mean, changing the name of um, our Snivy here. So there's that. Hello? Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? No. <laughs> I just wanted to chop up a, a very tiny ass tree. What did you think I was here for? Did you hear that sound coming from the other side of the wall? Let's go see. It's fine. Oh look, it's a marketable plushie. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> What is the internet doing to me? Moon. Wait up. Surprise, motherfucker. We found you, Moon. Come on, come on. Make some dream mist. No. <laughs> huh? Who the hell are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Marsh and Musharna, goddamn that name is hard to pronounce, emits a mysterious vapor called a dream mist, which shows people dreams. We're going to use that and make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show and dreams to manipulate their hearts. Ow. Dick. Come on, spit out that dream mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off dream mist? That's me. Why? Because they're assholes. That's why. That's right. Damn. <laughs> we're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win. In battles and take Pokemon by force because of fucking course. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. All right, plasma battle, plasma battles or battles against plasma grunts. They're basically just trainer battles. Those just like, like the rocket grunts back in Soul Silver. This one has a pet rat. So fun fact: this is actually my third attempt at recording this. The first time I was rudely interrupted, and the second time, I'm, I'm, Pat Red was able to use a fucking bide. So we're just gonna vine with the hell out of this, this Pat Rat. Yeah, it turns out bide is a charge up move. Where after a certain amount of turns, it just does a fuck ton of damage. Anyway, our Snivy gained a level. He defeated a Plasma Grunt. Plasma! Ah, our beautiful dream. Your dream is dead. I would know. I killed it. We're not taking them seriously because they're kids. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm next. I ain't playing easy XP. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually my third attempt at recording. Because, again, the first time I got uh, interrupted. Second time, my Snivy got absolutely cooked. Like, bro. Sand attack, fuck that move. 
so much. Sand attack is one of those annoying moves because if the Pokemon uses it three times, it causes your Pokemon to do fucking nothing, basically causing your Pokemon to become a paperweight. And there goes the Purloin. Team Plasma Grunt. Plasma, this is a nightmare. Cough up the money. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Eh. Stop hitting the markable plushie. Come on. Make with the Dream Mist. What are you two doing goofing off? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties... This is it. Gets us when he is gathering followers, or gets us when he is trying to control people by tricking them with his speeches. Yeah. This is gets us when and a plan fa has failed, and he's about to issue punishment. Anyway, let's hurry and say what's up. This he can forgive us. Ah. Oh, hey, another markable plushie. Sure. What was that just now? A person called Getsis appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Oh, God, Bianca's having an existential crisis. Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. <laughs> I can't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? No, it's a marketable plushie. Yes, it's Musharna. And they left. Did something happen? Oh. Well, you see, Luna was here. But Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and showed the something like a dream or something, and then Team Plasma sort of just fucked off. I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it used, used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second! Yoink. This is Dream Mist. With this, I can complete my research. You too. Come to my house later, okay? Phew. How random was that? Very. Well, I'm going to look for the Pokemon we saw just now. Yeah, good luck with that. And... Purloin. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Easy XP. So yeah. So, a little bit of trivia about Muna and Musharna. So, back in Pokemon Fire Red, and, and I believe you've read it in blue, I believe. I wouldn't know because I've never played those. Well, Fire Red I've played, Red and Blue I've not. But there is this one person that mentions how she would like to see a Pokemon that's pink with purple spots. Guess what color ski? He, Muna, and Mushana are pink with purple spots. Hey, we got a repel. Neat. Then go full loot goblin mode. Effectively me. You know that phrase, that trope, Chekhov's gun? It's basically a trope where something that's like introduced in like like the beginning act, the purpose of that thing isn't revealed until like like later on. This would sort of I don't know if this would count as like a more extreme version of uh Chekhov's gun. Since the idea for a Pokemon like that was tease in the first generation, probably unintentionally as like a bit of a throwaway line. 
line, but later became the basis for Muna and Musharna uh, in this gen. Nifty little detail. Alright, let's heal up. I need healing. Heal my snake. You've restored your Pokemon to full health. Good. Alright. Let's figure out what all this Dream Mist thing was all about. You. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files from various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you this Sea Gear to use. Sea Gear is a device related to communications such as infrared connection and Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Ow, that hurts. Fuck. Then we got the Sea Gear. You could really tell that during the DS era and even the Wii era, and to an extent the Wii U era, Nintendo was very proud of their like online services, their online stuff. Little did I know they were going to just shut it down like later on. See, so yeah, if you touch the question mark icon, the huh icon on at the bottom right screen, you can read about the Sea Gear, about the Game Sync. I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainer save files. Do you have time to learn more? No. I am sorry. I am so happy. He's all explain they're about to be as thanks to you. You, we can do a great thing. Now, Game Sync, Game Sync can retrieve in memories of sleeping Pokemon using Dream Mist. That's right, we collect save files from trainers from all around the world. What's more, we learned that if you use Game Sync to make a Pokemon sleep, it will have dreams. <laughs> then, when you wake up, up from that Pokemon, its dreams become reality. The and it's basically called Entra Lake. Ow! In the middle of the Innova region. Isn't Game Sync interesting? <laughs> oh, you poor fool. Oh, you poor, poor fool. Hmm? Ah, my nose. <laughs> I was having chicken wings earlier. Fucking the spice still lingers. Oh, trainer. Thank you very much for helping. Hey, Fennel. This is for me. Take it. Baba Boy. Pow Pad. You can register your friends in your Pow Pad. After you register, you can link with those friends over a Nintendo Wi Fi connection. Ow, that hurts. Oh, you poor fool. You can trade Pokemon. Run, challenge your friends to battle. And so on. Yeah. Stuff like this, where they teach you about, like, things related to the Nintendo Wi-Fi and other internet services, this kind of shit has not aged well at all. <laughs> this stuff, these kind of early tutorial sections have aged about as well as expired dope milk. Trainer, these, you use the PC in the Pokemon Center. I'm the one who maintains the box system. Do you know about the battle bots? Yes. Impressive. If there's a Pokemon, you have... Using your battles, you can register it in the battle box. Good to know. So yeah, uh, you can very much tell that they were very proud of the online stuff that this game had. Little did anyone know that Nintendo was going to shut that shit down, so... Anyway, new route. Route 3! And oh, would you look at that, the Pokemon Breeder. The Pokemon Daycare. <laughs> when I picked up the Pokemon I left in the daycare, it learned different moves. Then it knew when I left it there. Pokemon can only learn up to four moves, which sucks, by the way. <laughs> this is in stark contrast to every other RPG ever. I'm the daycare lady. We can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like to raise one? No, I don't have any. I only have a limited amount. Alrighty then. Hmm, 
a Pokemon. Oh, hey, full heal. Are you familiar with double battles? Yes. So yeah, double battles allow you to battle two trainers at once. Parents and doctors all bring up youngsters for a living. Odd. R. <laughs> oh, looky here. I feel invincible. Well, because I'm surrounded by the spot. Those of children and Pokemon. Oh shit, this guy's. This chick's got the power of friendship. There's the aid, Autumn. It is indeed Autumn. Lillipup. Go, my snake. Whip. By the way, a little something about, um, um, River, I will say this, we're likely not going to evolve her until, or evolve him until, like, mid to, like, end game. Bark, bark. Mmm, delicious XP. Level 15. Send out a Muna. Let's see what this moon has got. Slap. Mm. Crit. The beauty of same type attack bonus. Boom. And Dunzo. And just like that. Well, oh, great, great. Another trainer. <coughs> oh no, free score. Pants. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I should have started. Led this fight with fucking River. God damn it. Go, my little monkey man. Go. Ow. Let's see. Water gun. You had lick on you. That is gross. See so, yeah. He has some easy XP over here. So, a little something about black and white is that you can very much tell that... Oops. Trainer, you're too strong. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> so... One thing you can definitely tell with, oh you poor fool, about black and white here, is that you can definitely tell that this was like designed with like newcomers in mind, and honestly, if you're gonna start anywhere with Pokemon, first of all, why are you getting into Pokemon? There's virtually no reason to play any of the Pokemon games. Oops, I have no healthy Pokemon left to fight. So, but if you do have to play at least one Pokemon game, take this, Hyper Beam. That would be some shit if this kid actually had Hyper Beam. Please go it's holy. So, yeah, like, if you want to, like, get into, like, Pokemon, 
I would suggest either starting with Harkon Soul Silver, Black and White, or Black 2 and White 2. Especially Black and White and Black 2 and White 2, since I find those games are like the most newcomer friendly. Without being pissed fucking easy. While modern, like starting with like X and Y Pokemon games are just press A to win, essentially. I feel like with you know, Nova Games, Game Freak, the Pokemon Company, and Nintendo actually tried to make Pokemon like a proper RPG. We. You. Oh, come on, come on. Let me throw. Hmm. We're going to combine our strength and do our. So please watch. One plus one is two, right? No shit. <laughs> Challenged by twins Kumi and Amy, who send out purloins. Purloin and purloin. Why? Because fuck it, why not? So yeah, this is a double battle. Basically, two Pokemons are on the field, and you basically have to fight. And I don't know if you can see this right now, but there is a black box right where my mouse cursor is. Above one of the Pokemon's heads. I don't know if that's in the actual, like, cartridge. Because I actually do have a physical, the physical version. I'm playing this on a, an emulator. But I do own a physical copy. The, and I don't recall those being there. So, that's fucking weird. Uh, emulator devs, fix your fucking shit. <laughs> Like, I could be wrong on that. Then, I don't know, it's because it's been forever since I've played these. Slap. Oh my god. Purloin went down. And Serpenta's now level 16. Wants to learn a Leaf Tornado. Yes, please. Piss off, Growth. Forgot Growth and learned a Leaf Tornado. Ow. Holy shit. Okay, we gotta get rid of that purloin. Like, right now. Slap. By the way, if you are all out of Pokemon, by the way, the double battle will turn into a single battle. Also, keep that in mind. And now we can get a move on. Oh, god damn it. You, stop. You both have a trio badge, so let's see which one of us is stronger. Son of a make bitch. Charon. I dead ass thought Snivy was gonna evolve right now. Tap hug. Hold on, what's this leaf tornado do? Hmm. Oh fuck, you know Ember. Well, unfortunately for you, I have a potion. Defense curl. I should have made a beeline for the Poke Center.
So, River, get your ass out here. Alrighty. I am not in a position where I can afford to do a starter on starter battle. And you had an Ornberry, because of course you would. Water gun. Super effective. And a crit. Tepig is down. Send out Purloin. This will probably be the perfect candidate to test out Leaf Tornado. Oh, my poor Snivy. Leaf Tornado. Holy sh... Fury swipes, but you miss. Hmm, with my knowledge, I can bring out the strength of my Pokemans. And I fucking miss. Come on, hit it again. Purloin is donezo. And Charon is done. Why do you keep beating me? We have the same number of badges. We should be equals. Uh, sheer fucking determination. I see. So that's how you battle. Out of the way! What was that about? Why are you running? Hey, where are those people heading? Uh, that way, but... Why are you running now? Ah, oh, serious? Wait, they run so fast. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why are you running? You have to hear this. Those people, those Dalvis kids, pop them all. You should have spoken up sooner. You gotta stay with, stay with this kid's side. Give me a second. I need to fucking heal. Give me a second. Hey, my poor Snivy. You. I need healing. <laughs> I need healing. Alrighty, let's get a move on. Let's find Team Plasma, but first, Newt. Super Potion. Make up for the ones that I used. Well then. Plasma, where the fuck are you? Ooh, wait. Well, maybe I should... I forgot I had repels. Oh, fuck. Your Pokemon look quite good. Uh, one of mine's got its ass kicked. Pokemon Breeder Adelaide sends out a pat rat. Who is a fugly looking bastard. But yeah, I would definitely recommend Black and White or Black 2 and White 2 as like your first like entry into the series. Let's see. Storing up energy. And I say, get fucked. Get fucked, you rat. P dove. I want this bird. That bird is going to be our next partner member, by the way. Bird dodged my tornado. Uh, and I got caught in its tornado. I will say about P-Dove right now, I think P-Dove is probably one of the best looking early game flying types. 
like in this whole series. I mean, just just look at him. Look at him. There's a little bird. There's not a signal thought going on behind those eyes. There we go. Love it, pup. Oh, you poor doggo. Slap. And there we go. Oh, I see. We shame them by traveling together. Hmm, fresh money. We got an orange berry for our troubles. A repel. Make up for the one that we used. They ran inside here. Let's go in. This bothersome bug. And it doesn't really listen to reason. You can't reason someone out of a position they didn't reason themselves into, my dude. That child can't. How to use the Pokemon to its full potential? Does that hand make the Pokemon sad? And it's the same thing for all your Pokemon. It's animal for right now. But yet, we'll just take them. Damn, dude. Damn, fucking. Two plasma encounters in one day, goddamn. Or night, I guess, in this case. Pat rat. Oh, you poor fool. Leaf tornado. I'm actually curious how come that doesn't like completely collapse the cave in on itself. She tries to use bite. Now you're gonna do shit. Detect. Oh, you dick. You fucking dick. Detect is basically like protect. And just like protect, that move is fucking annoying. Eat shit, Pat Rat. Level 17. Player defeated, Team Plasma Grunt. Whoa, whoa, coming on now. I'm shocked that we was against a little kid. Who are you calling little? I shouldn't have anything about it. Oh shit. Serpentas of all Well then, that was quick. <laughs> That's sooner than I anticipated. Congratulations, your Serpenta turned into Servine. Look at her. Look at her. Nani, how could we lose when we have them right on our side? Not bad. Okay, go return the Pokemon to that kid. You don't need to return it. The oh, fuck. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you only actually got in our way to boot. There's two of us. Two of you and two of us. We'll show you a combined power. So, there were more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers I think so self righteous? This guy fucking gets it. We've been friends our whole life. Guys, we've got each other's back. Hands. Back what? And it counts? Let's show them how it's done. Time to kick some ass. A double battle. But, um, send a uh, pat rat. Another pat rat. Let's get going. And since our we're Snivy evolved into Servine, we can immediately put it to the test. How come Leaf Tornado doesn't hit two spots? It's a fucking tornado. Critical. 
First blood. Pulling the, the Halo announcer up in this. Yeah. Ow. Dick. Hit him with the second one. Mm. Team Plasma Grunt is donezo. Plasma. What? Did we lose? I cannot believe that Team Plasma lost to such a kid. Now cough up the cash. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever. What a waste of time. Come on, what's the reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean, trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware. Here of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Oh god, they're basically PETA. <laughs> I, it just hit me, the fucking PETA. Someday, open your eyes, eyes to your own complicity. Trainers bring out their Pokemon strength. People believe in their po in their trainers. Here's and respond to that. I don't understand what about that that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, I will turn the Pokemon. Well, in that case, we're just gonna go on ahead. Never mind then. Well, at least I can grab this. TM46 Thief. Fitting. Alright, let's get out of here. Route 3. Hell's War Off. Oh, right, this game doesn't, like... Yeah, it's kind of weird how it didn't take until Pokemon Black 2 for Pokemon games to make it to where if your repel runs out, you just use a new one automatically. Thank you so much, the two of you got a Pokemon back. Lucky to have friends like you two. Heal Balls. Can completely heal to capture Pokemon on the spot. How convenient! Well then. With that done. Hmm. Actually. We're gonna heal up. And then call it. A part right here. So yeah. We've had our first proper, like, battles with Team Plasma. We saved the kids' Pokemon. And our Snivy is now a Servine. Next time on Pokemon on White, we're going to continue down Route 3 into the next city. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like and subscribe. While you're at it, check out my non-gaming stuff over on a Tumblr, which is also linked to some of my other social media platforms. And until then, see you all next time for some more Pokemon White. Bye!